Hello guys, it's the researcher again. I just found out a solution on how to convert a PowerPoint slideshow with audio to that .mov file format so that you can actually upload the video file to YouTube. So I have been experiencing this problem the past couple of weeks because when I'm trying to save my slideshow, in, in this case, the slideshow here has an audio embedded uh, into it. So once I play this one here, you will hear a sound recording. In 1986, my parents migrated to a country in South Pacific to become Catholic missionaries, which lasted for about 20 years. So, um, so in this case, I, I want the PowerPoint to be saved and at the same time, it will also capture the recording. So unfor unfortunately, uh, Microsoft Office, the PowerPoint application has a um, export feature here, which is located under the File tab and then Export. When you click on this one, when you click on this one, it will give you an option of uh, choosing the, the right file format. So in this case, if I choose either MP4 or that .mov and later on I click on export, um, the the resulting audio, uh, the resulting file does not include an audio. The audio is, it's not able to capture the audio part of this uh, slideshow. I'll show you that one uh, in a minute. So in in this case. This is actually the the um, the recorded part. Uh, I mean, when I save it using the export uh, feature in PowerPoint. So as you can see here, it's able to capture the the image, the whole slide, but it's not able to capture the uh, the audio part of it. So that is actually a sh uh, it's a shame because I mean they ha they have the the export feature there and able to convert it to mp4 and that mov but it's not able to capture the the audio so the the um the quick turn around uh work around quick work around for that one is actually to use the the quick time player which has the feature of you know um capturing the the new screen recording so it what it does it captures your screen plus Anything that you are, uh, you know, the audio part is actually when you are actually talking in front of the computer. So, in this case, so when I play the this this slideshow here, um, and you know, I have that one actually on. If I have this QuickTime player recording on, it will capture whatever recording that I have in here. In nineteen eighty six, my parents migrated to. A so that portion of it, it will, yeah, the the, um, the QuickTime player is able to capture that. Actually, right now I'm recording it using my QuickTime player. So just to give you a little bit of a, if for those who don't know QuickTime, who have not record uh, done some recording on QuickTime, I'll just give you a very very quick uh, uh, preview on that one. So I have done, I have created this this slide here. Um, so the first step, you, I, I'm assuming that you have the QuickTime player installed in your machine already. I'm using a Mac computer, so I actually dock this one over here. And when you when I click on this one, that's very, that's the first step. The second step will bring you to the upper portion of your screen, which shows the QuickTime player. And next to that one, there is File, and then New Screen Recordings. So click on New Screen Recording and then it will bring you to step number three which is this small box here so the small box has a recording button here but before you start recording you would want to make sure that you are recording you are recording with an internal microphone using the internal microphone so when you click this arrow here it will bring you here and then just choose the internal microphone um, once you click on this one click on the record button again and this message will pop on your uh, on, on the middle of your screen saying that click to record the full screen drag to record part of the screen and then end recording by clicking the stop button in the menu bar so when you start recording so when you see that one start going to your uh, slideshow to your PowerPoint slideshow 
and then start playing it again and then once you're done um, recording your slideshow using your your QuickTime player just click again on the quick click time uh, application icon here again and then on the the menu bar which is the upper portion of your sc screen somewhere here you will see here a red dot uh, a black dot so once you're done just click on this one to disengage um, QuickTime player and later on after you click on that one a movie box is going to show it means that you have finished recording the the slideshow and um, that's basically that's basically it so you can actually test and you know listen to it and see if everything is captured both the the slideshow and also the audio part of it um, but once it's done you can actually save the 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 file and I think that's it that's actually the solution to it right now Microsoft is I mean currently doesn't have that feature to really combine both the, the slideshow and the audio part um, but once until that one is actually created until a solution is provided uh, for a, a lot of PowerPoint slideshow um, slideshow documents uh, or movies you can actually use my my approach on how to record slideshow with audio so guys um, that's it I hope you guys uh, learned something today and if you happen to encounter the same problem you know what exactly to do um, so see you again next time and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so thank you guys bye bye